Why did the milkman take my dad? <laughs> Okay, hey, and welcome to Ronnie's Reality. If you are new here, hey, and if you are not new here, hey. Okay, so today's video is a get to know me tag. So I have a bunch of questions. Hopefully I can film this in about 25 minutes because I have to go to class at 10.55 and it's currently 9.56, but it's like a 15 minute walk. So it's about, I usually leave at 9.30, 10.30, usually live at, li why do I speak? So yeah, I have the questions. Oh, I'm also gonna be playing jazz, smooth jazz because I don't know, it's just aesthetically pleasing. Well, no, it's not aesthetically pleasing. It's relaxing for me. Hopefully it's not too loud. Hopefully you can still hear me. But this is, um, me trying to go to the notes app. Okay. Get to know me tag. I have 20 questions. I'm trying to see, oh, Lord have mercy. I have 20 questions. Can you see them? Barely, whatever. So I feel like I should put on my glasses cause I can't see. Ooh, I'm glowing right now. <laughs> Yay. Let me take photos. Why is it so bright? What, what's going on? Why am I looking yeller? Oh, oh, yeah, Jalen. I know, but I kind of like that. No, don't do that. Okay, so first question is, what is your favorite movie? Okay, this is a tough one because I have several. Okay, this is the answer that I always give when I'm like in the theater set, like film major setting because I'm a film major. If someone asks me that question, I'll say The Illusionist because that's my freaking, okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's my movie. I wrote a 14 page essay about it. <laughs> so obviously I like it. But if I was not being so serious, it's between Hoodwinked and August Rush. August Rush just does something, you know? It it has a certain oomph, a certain je ne sais quoi that, I, August Rush is such an underrated movie, actually. Underrated, underrated, okay? So yeah, it's between those two. It's definitely The Illusionist if I'm being in like a, you know, classy setting. But if I'm not, it's either going to be August Rush or Hoodwinked. Because Hoodwinked is a good movie. Hoodwinked is a good, and it's a, it's a, it's a good movie. It's a good animated movie. Okay, next question. <laughs> okay, I will like to say these first nine questions. I asked my friends and family to like ask me questions. And some of these are... <laughs> Anyways, why did the milkman take my dad? <laughs> because he didn't love you. Let me stop. Maybe ask the milkman. Maybe he has questions. Maybe he has answers. Maybe he didn't want to take your dad. Maybe your dad wanted to take him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your dad wanted to take him. Okay. What zodiac signs do I avoid the most? I don't really avoid zodiac signs. Zodiac signs avoid me. Well, other zodiacs avoid me, but they don't avoid me. Like me, my personality, my persona. They don't avoid me because before I promise, I'm not even gonna tell you what my sign is because everyone loves me up until they find out what my sign is. Recording this days later, but comment down below what you think my sign is. First one to get it gets $5. And they're like, hmm, but I like you. I like you, you're the, only, you're the exception because you, are the only exception literally literally every single time oh you're a mm, i don't really like them but i like you and i'm like yeah that's because my personality isn't summed up into one sign and i oh but. <laughs> so i don't think i avoid a sign but if i feel like i did it'd be a scorpio except for my sister i love her yeah love you rye <laughs> Love my sister. Okay. What color do I like the least? Orange. It used to be pink. It used to be pink. But I don't look good in orange. And that's really the only reason I don't like it. I look good in pink. I just, not a f the biggest fan of pink, but orange. 
orange but i feel like i would look really attractive in a like a jumpsuit like a jail jumpsuit jail like, you know what i'm gonna stop talking but yeah that would probably be my least favorite color orange but like it would have to be a certain shade of orange not like uh me trying to see if i have anything orange in here like sunset orange gorgeous stunning but no um, yeah i think it's orange yeah i think it's orange okay which is actually my stepmother's favorite color and like her oranges are cute like there it's just a, there's a certain orange a certain orange that just doesn't do it for me what would be my final meal oh i have this already planned out in my head okay so rack of lamb from texas day brazil with peppermint jelly sauce I know you like peppermint jelly sauce. Yes, I said what I said. But peppermint jelly sauce, mashed potatoes. I'm talking some good buttery, creamy mashed potatoes. Okay, with like topped with garlic sauce. Oh, oh, yes. Also, the lamb would be cooked medium well. Okay, medium, medium well, medium, medium well. I don't want no well done. I don't want well. I want medium, medium well. Okay, and then. I would have a side of asparagus. Love me some asparagus. With a little bit of lemon squeezed on top. Mmm. Scrum dilly yum yum a pur pur. And probably Shirley Temple because I'm not old enough to drink. For dessert, Rita's Italian ice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Absolutely. And yeah, I think that pretty much is it. That'd be my last meal. A very good last meal. I'm very hungry right now. What do I always seem to forget? My name. <laughs> my intro, my name. Uh, then I have homework. <laughs> but I really do seem to forget my name a lot. People are like, what's your name? Thinks about it for a second. What is my name? Jalen. Is there anything else that I seem to forget like quite often? Whether or not I have makeup on my face. Because like, I'll be like, oh, I don't have makeup on. In my mind, I don't have makeup on. And I'm like scratching all my face. I'm like, And then it's just really upsetting. It's really saddening, really. Oh, also, I'm very forgetful of my key. There's a reason I had to buy a new one. It was $100. $100, I got a new key. I'm not losing that one because I don't have another $100 to come out of my pocket. What genre do I like acting in the most? Oh, I love this question. Okay, so from my point of views on TikTok, you would think... I like like drama, like I wanna cry. I wanna make people feel stuff, which I do. I love making people feel things, but it's low key comedy. It's low key, low key, low key, low key, low key drama, comedy. I love, I love a good making people laugh moment, okay? And I think that's really beautiful to see, you know? And I feel like it's not the easier one but it is, but it's not. <laughs> and I'm also, I'm a fan of improv. I love improv. I've talked about it on here that I, I think, I think I talked about it on here. I'm pretty sure I remember talking about it. I, w I auditioned for the improv group at my school and I actually got in, which means they kind of think I'm kind of funny guys, but I didn't do it, but they kind of think I'm funny guys. And so, I don't know. I just really enjoy doing that. I enjoy, I enjoy being funny, <laughs> even though I'm not. I don't know what people see. It's, it's I'm not I'm not a funny person. I I'm not. I don't know. I don't know what they see. If you had to listen to one genre for the rest of your life, what genre would I pick? One genre of music. Sorry, I blocked out that word. But I don't know why. Gospel. Gospel. Gotta give it to Yahweh. Have to give it to him. And if it wasn't gospel, what would be the next best option here? jazz okay because i would love to just listen i would love to just live and just listen to my beautiful 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 nat king cole for the rest of my life i would love to listen to nat king cole for the rest of my life okay i have an entire playlist dedicated to nat king cole because just there's something about i love you for sentimental reasons like you better sing i don't want to set the world on fire by the ink spots I don't to set the world on fire. Anyway, yeah. So gospel jazz. So the next question is, I didn't understand this question because I'm slow. This is a question that my friend asked me and I was like, hey, 
I don't know what this means. <laughs> but it says, if you had to color code all things in my room, dorm colors, what would you use for each category? Roar G Biv and why? I didn't know what to say, but I kind of know what to say now. Let me just say what my color range would be. Red, white, gold, and brown. Okay? Red, white, gold, brown. Those are my colors. Okay, those are my colors. So the walls will be white, like an off-white, like a cream, and golden butterflies either painted on or like fake butterflies put on there. I don't know why, I don't know why, but I just think it would be so pretty with white butterflies. So it's kind of like a loop thing going on up and down. And then my bed sheets would 100% be silk, but they'd be brown, okay? Brown silk bed sheets. I don't know, something about that just sounds very aesthetically pleasing to my ears. And my closet would consist of brown and red and clothes. And I'd be okay with brown, red, and white. I'm okay with just wearing those. I'm completely fine with that. And then if I could have the option, my floors would be like a dark rustic brown. Like there's this, my dad's house has like brown wood as floor. And I, is it mahogany? Is that the color I'm looking for? I don't know. It's just, it's so pretty. I love that. And let me think. I would also probably color code. Everything would probably be color coded between those four things. Okay, um, what time do I usually go to bed? Okay, the, I want to go to bed at 10 every night. I want that for myself. Can I do that? No, usually, lately, I've been going to bed at one, which is a problem. Because when I first started the semester, I was actually going to bed at 10, 10, 30 every night. No problem. Then I started hanging out with friends and it got later and later and I said, I don't like this, but now I can't stop. And I wanna go back to going to bed at 10.30 because I like to be, I like to get enough sleep, you know what I mean? And I can't do that if I'm not going to bed on time. So I wanna go to bed at 10.30, it used to be 10.30 and now it's like 1 a.m. because I'm always talking on the phone, which is now why I'm like, I have to tell my friends I'm going to bed, I can't talk to you. If it's a Saturday night, okay. Friday night, okay. Sunday night? No. Sorry. Wednesday night? No. Sorry. I need to be slumbered. Next question. Who is my celebrity crush? Hmm, babe, I got so many. Which one do you want? I feel like the... I feel like... Let me tell you the problem with, with my celebrity crushes. Why are they all so much older than me? I feel like that's a problem that we don't address enough. <laughs> but I think it's because I grew up watching like old movies and I like had a crush on them when they were younger. But at a five, six years old, I didn't process that. Like, yeah, you're 20 in the movie, but by the time I'm 18, you're like 35, 38, you know what I'm saying? I was saying, yeah, like you're way older than me. And so, uh, I'm gonna just tell you like, my, they're not, this is not any specific order, except for the first one, Chris Evans. <sighs> Chris Evans. <laughs> The love I have for Chris Evans. Let's see. Jonathan Davis. Cause love, love, love it. Let's see. Let me try to like go slightly younger. Dylan O'Brien. Matthew Gray Goobler. Matthew Gray Goobler. Matthew. <laughs> Greg Blairs. <laughs> MGG? Absolutely. Absolutely. So what did I say? Chris Evans, MGG, Dylan O'Brien, Jonathan Davis. I was trying to go young, but let's be honest. It's not gonna happen. So Henry Cavill. <laughs> or Jesse Williams. There is something about like <laughs> I'm sorry I had to type him just to show you. Like I I don't know. I don't know what it is, but he's just, oh, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Yeah, that was like six men. And like only one is like semi close to my age. Actually, how old is Jonathan Davis? I feel like he's not even close to my age. And that's the problem. That's where the problem lies, you guys. Oh, he's 22. Oh, what am I talking about? He's close to my age. Okay. He's the closest one, no. Um, and then it just big time jump. Next question, how would I rate my childhood on a scale from one to 10?
ages one through 10, I'd rated a 7.6. No, I lied. I'd rated an 8.6 on 11 to 10, I think it's not my childhood anymore. It's kind of like my preteen, teen years. It would be like from 10 to now, 5.3, <laughs> a 5.3 because I don't know, when I hit 11, it just became not the best. But like there are great moments within those years, you know, but actually no, the one through 10, I give a solid 9.7. I know I just keep raising it and raising, but yeah, I think one through 10 gets a 9.7. Yeah, I think it's a 9.7 year. And then months, years. What am I trying to say? I, I don't know. 9.7. That part of my childhood. 11 to now, 5.6. <laughs> 5.6. Yeah, I get a 5.6. But I feel like this next decade will be chef's kiss. You know, I'm speaking that into existence. It's going to be great. It's going to be phenomenal. And no one's going to be able to tell me that it's not phenomenal. Okay, so next question. This is the 13th question. What is my middle name? Ranye. 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 Accent on the E. Ranye's reality. It's what the name of my channel is. And I realized that some people think my name is actually Ranye. Honestly, it's not like I won't answer to Ranye because that's what my sisters call me sometimes. They'll be like Ranye instead of saying my actual name. I don't know why though. But yeah, they'll be like Ranye. I'm like, yes. So yeah, that's also my name on my Instagram. At this point, I should just change my TikTok name to run his reality. <laughs> because right now it's Curly Fries Express. And it's been Curly Fries Express since sixth grade. So it's been going strong for seven and a half years. <laughs> Woo! So yay for that. What are my favorite values in friendship? Great question. Fabulous question, actually. Someone who is honest and loyal I don't want someone who's always going to agree with me because I don't want a yes man I didn't sign up for that <laughs> I want someone who's going to come at me and I think that's why me and my best friend work because she's so I love her that's that's the she is the love of my life platonically so love her she's literally like the love of my life I love her platonically and She's like the perfect example of what I would look for in a friend. She's funny, she's kind, but she's so real. <laughs> there's no there's no BS, it's just so real. It's so her and I love her, I love her, I love her. I love you, Ottoman, Mwah. Okay, what is your favorite holiday? Christmas. I feel like most people's favorite holiday is Christmas, but underrated holiday that I actually love is Valentine's Day. And I haven't had a Valentine in like four years, but I'm my Valentine. So I have a blast every year. Okay, usually I have like a little charcuterie. I was actually supposed to post that video of me and my little charcuterie. I didn't feel like, I didn't, I didn't feel like editing that. I looked at it and I was watching it. And I said, I don't feel like editing this. Cause I, it was a vlog and I love filming vlogs. Editing them is a completely different story and who else is gonna edit it if it's not me? So I just didn't feel like editing it. So I didn't edit it and so you didn't get to see the vlog, sorry. I love Valentine's Day though. I really do. It's like a close second. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my puppy. She's like going to sleep. She's like slowly. She's so cute. Anyway, yeah, so definitely that. I love a good charcuterie. I love a good charcuterie board and a romance movie. Last year I did it with my sister, my oldest sister, not my eldest, but my oldest sister and I made Cajun shrimp pasta and we watched Brown Sugar, great movie. What was the other movie we watched? I don't even, I don't remember. It was some other romance movie. And then the year before it was me and my eldest sister and we watched Pride and Prejudice and had a charcuterie board because we love charcuterie, me and my sister. I did it in the video and I just noticed that I said that, but it's older and oldest. Why did I say elder and eldest? That's for like, Anyways, point is, older and oldest. Wish I could reward people. And yeah, that's, yeah. So Christmas and Valentine's Day. Any other holiday? No, not that I can think of. So next we have, 
what is my best trait okay so when i read that question i was like i feel like what i see and what others see are completely different so i want to write i wanted to ask my friends what they thought so you can truly see who i am as a person but i do have an answer i said my weirdness that's my best trait because i love it i'm so weird and i love that for me okay so this is i'm not going to tell you who said who because i didn't write that down but someone said my kindness and work ethic my general warmness and the way i make a space feel comfortable my heart my openness my energy i have a bright this one was so sweet and i will say who wrote this because it literally made me cry <laughs> my energy i have a bright aura that just shines and causes everything to light up like i can't imagine being down when you're around and at least to me it makes me want to help you shine that was for my friend naya i'm not gonna cry maybe i will i'm a little emotional <laughs> But that was like the sweetest thing. Anyways, next, um, charisma and humor. I'm bubbly, but genuine. Passion, or like when I care about someone, I have zero problems showing them how much I care and feel about them. I'm very loving, genuinely a good person, determination, sense of humor and smile, <laughs> and smile again. So I think the general consensus is i have a great smile and i'm a genuine loving caring open kind person that's what i wrapped all of that into oh and i have a great energy <laughs> so i thought that was really sweet i was actually reading these that my friends were like, <laughs> you love me yeah it was it was it was it was nice it was nice so next question go to hairstyle passion twists Passion twist always. Once I figured out how to do passion twist, I figured out how to do passion twist. What year was that? Ninth grade? And I never stopped. <laughs> that is my go-to hairstyle. Go-to. Go-to. Never fails, never fails, never fails. I love a good passion twist. Box braids are okay, but passion twists? I love them. I love it so much. I love a good passion twist moment. Next question. Do I have any pets? Yes. I have my Luna. Luna Bob. And then I have another pet at home. His name is Storm. He's a Rottweiler. He's huge. He would probably gobble Luna up in like ah, one bite. They've never met. And I hope it stays that way. <laughs> the next question is, what are my life goals? To be happy. That sounds so cheesy, but it's so real. <laughs> I want to be happy. Why is my nose just running? Like, am I getting, am I getting sick? Like, please no have a trip to go to um but no i think my life goals to be happy to some one day be on a really big tv show or a really big movie with a big actor or i'm actually like where i actually have lines I'm like i'm like a supporting actress i don't even have to be a lead Th that doesn't matter to me <laughs> i don't have to be a lead because why i just or to be on broad I have a lot of goals. To be on Broadway. Or be a part of creating a show. That's a goal of mine. I want to create a musical. I, I don't know. I just want to create a musical so bad. And do I have any other life goals? To be able to protect my peace at all times. Because this world is insane and people in it are insane and people are just crazy and I just, they get on my nerve and I just want my peace to be protected throughout all of that. What time is it? Not 10 24? I think a great time. I just, because I only have one more question left. I just really want to protect my peace because peace is so important. And then, yeah, so happiness, career, success, and then peace. I want my peace to be protected. And last but not least, the last question, what inspires me? why am i looking here what inspires me my mom is my biggest inspiration because she's just so genuine and caring and full of joy she lives by her name her name is joy she lives by that that is who she is she is joy and i love her so much and she pushes me 
to do what I love and she pushes me for my passions and she believes in me and she is such a great mother my goodness I just she is amazing in so many ways and like when people don't like her I'm literally like oh it's you you're the problem because for you to not like that beautiful human being this wonderful human being there's an issue in you I look up to her so much and she's like the best mom simply the best mom ever i like y'all probably have great moms but mine is fabulous fantastic excellent goes above and beyond i love her <laughs> i love her and she just inspired me every day that concludes this video that concludes this get to know me tag so i hope you feel like you know me a little bit better the fact that this video is 32 minutes and i gotta edit it's crazy if you stayed this long at this point just go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you stayed this long, go ahead and hit it because go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow my socials. Thank you. And give this video a thumbs up. And if you don't, I mean, I don't run your life. You can do what you want, but it'd be kind of nice, you know, to give it a nice thumbs up. So I hope to see you in the next video. And, you know, also comment down below who inspires you or what inspires you. Comment down below what inspires you.